Okay, this is Cool Dude Clem here once again. And today I'm going to talk about my experiences with Linux Mint. Now, some of you who have seen my previous videos where I've been dissing Linux, I'd like you to know that this one is going to look on the positive side of things, because the last time I did a Linux video, or well, the first time I used Linux, I was on Ubuntu, which really isn't... I mean, Ubuntu, which really isn't the best to give a first impression of Linux, but this is... Linux Mint, and I must say, I am actually pretty quite impressed with it. You have to excuse my voice being a bit weird. I've got a bit of a cold again, and haven't been up for long. And my camera battery's running out already, would you believe it? You may be able to see I've installed some programs here. I've got Acetone ISO and Audacity and things like that. And I've also got Wine in there, which means I can run things like Modplug Tracker. We open the folder here and run it. Haven't got this app properly set up at the moment, but I can I can use this and make my music with it. Let's just load up something that I'm doing um, or something that I have done. Now, one of the problems I've encountered with Linux Mint is the sound. Although I'm getting no problem getting sound out of it, as you can see, there's a chip tune that I made. You probably would. I think I put that up on my the 8-bit guy account, or might have been on my own account, I can't remember which, but you might have been you might recognise that from somewhere, depending on which account I uploaded that tune to. So that shows you that the sound's working and I've got wine working as well. But then there's another problem. Now if we go into my computer, what's well just called computer, and you can see the C D D V G D V D drive icon here. seems absolutely no problems but I want to install a couple of my Windows video editing software because I haven't really found any good Linux equivalent and excuse me a minute just trying to find a disk so really I want to try to install them through Wine and I've got a little bit of a problem now let me just find a disk that's got a Windows program on it, the program that I want to install, it's Adobe Premiere 6.5, I have no idea if you can get this on Linux or not, but I've put the disk in, and if we just wait for a little while, while it reads the disk, it's reading the disk right now, so I can hear it making a few noises as you can see it just disappears and there's absolutely no way to access it so how am I supposed to install it? If I go into wind doors oh, what's a network connection now? what well, doesn't it? it's just typical isn't it? Just because I want to... Oh, I have to grab the thing from downstairs. Okay, sorry about that. You know, I've grabbed the dongle from Mum's computer downstairs, so this thing can go online now. Even though this has an Ethernet port, I don't seem to be able to be able to get online with that Ethernet port connected, but the wireless thing seems to work just fine. So anyway, we're going to wind doors again. Now, this is another thing. When this um, 
I saw this being installed on another computer by somebody else and he got like loads of options and things here but on my one it doesn't show any now if I try to install from install that thing that I installed from that disk I just put in installed CD it doesn't want to know because the stupid CD icon has disappeared from everywhere and so there's no way I can install that program Anyway, getting back to the sound issue, that's another thing that I really need some help with with this. Um, there doesn't seem to be any kind of way to adjust the sound levels. I mean, you know, for your mic in, your line in, and things like that. I just cannot get any input on this thing. Let's say go to this one, Pulse Audio Volume Control. And go on to Input Devices, this is all I have. I don't quite know what that's all about, but oh, it's closed it. Okay. Don't know why it's done that, but let's just try again. Input Devices. line in I'm just going to completely ignore that error it's probably something completely unrelated I mean, what the hell does it mean connection failed this is on the internet right now look I can even go into Firefox and it will load up see there it goes and can get my Google Mail here And that's all working just absolutely fine. So there's no problem with an internet connection there, so why does it say the connection's failed? So I can't even adjust these things with that stupid thing. Now where was it? Yeah, there we go. I oh, just resized it, didn't mean to do that. So there we are, if anybody knows what what's going on, why I keep getting this and everything, why I'm getting this problem with the sound, and why my CD keeps disappearing whenever I put a disc in, well that would be really helpful. Um, um, Go end this video, so until next time, goodbye, whatever.